let's start with this thing about <coughs> what is AI and when did it start and why is this different this time? I think despite all the technologies that we have, uh, people still cannot agree on like a single definition for AI. There are many, many different definitions, but the simplest definition is the attempt to recreate human-like intelligence in machines. When did it start? I think if you really look at it, it started many a millennia ago. It's, it's not a new phenomenon, it's not two or three or 10 or 50 years old. Because this is one particular technological feat or attempt that has deep roots in philosophy. And some of the debates right now are extremely philosophical as they should be. Uh, this, I think it, you can trace it back to this, uh, to the debates of mind versus body, mind over matter, mind and body being the same or th them being pure material matter and that's thousands of years ago. And the whole matter versus mind debate raged in ancient India in different Indian philosophical tradi traditions. It was uh, like a big hot topic in ancient Greece. I think atomicism, the, yes. the idea that everything everything arises from minute particles called atoms. That's I think yep. you can really trace the roots of artificial intelligence all the way back to this debate. And coming to more practical, relatable terms, th this whole idea of automatons, uh, humans building lifelike dolls and uh, with cogwheel mechanisms creating lifelike <coughs> behavior. There were bots that wrote set script, you know, uh, once wound up in, I think, medieval Europe in 19th century, etc., etc. So these were all, I see all of these as, uh, all of those things as attempts towards trying to imbibe human-like intelligence in machines. So what we have right now, the modern uh, AI attempts, again, that is also, that predates our idea of computing and the modern computer science in general like we were like we were saying earlier i think the first attempt to mathematically model a human neuron to codify it happened almost a no more than 100 years ago a uh, french mathematician uh, and then i think 30 40 years later the first artificial neurons were created i remember when i was in university we 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 played around played around with some of these concepts i think macula pitts neurons early 40s and this was before we had the modern computer architecture and uh, these were physical devices that behave like neurons you know uh, electricity goes in pulses come out after a threshold so that is i think that is the pivotal moment where m the modern kind of ai starts and that is 1940s before computers before modern computers so then there were plenty of breakthroughs in the 50s more neurons uh, more kinds of neurons uh, were created mechanical neurons then you had once we had computation software neurons made it easier I think perceptron was one uh, one of the first serious attempts that really kick-started the modern AI research that was in the 50s and then plenty of things have happened uh, and we've arrived at let's say transformers deep learning etc etc in the 80s there were hop field networks which I think which were the starting point of modern neural nets uh, so plenty of milestones but then the point is this is not new uh, the breakthroughs are new but the things that have led to these breakthroughs cannot be looked at in isolation they are they are a result of 70 60 70 80 years of actual modern mechanical electromechanical computational research and the philosophy that has resulted backed all of this up is literally thousands of years 